good evening everyone and welcome to our uh, live streamed service of Compline on this Wednesday evening. Before we begin, uh, tomorrow of course, Thursday the 14th of May, uh, is also the feast of St Matthias the Apostle. So we will be live streaming a Mass for St Matthias at 11 in the morning. We're also thinking very carefully about... Uh, our arrangements for this weekend. Um, we hope to be able, uh, at least as a family, to enter church, uh, to be able to uh, possibly uh, stream, record the Mass for Sunday from there. But there'll be more about that in our communication this week. And also, please do uh, look at the weekly newsletter. Uh, so look out for that, but we're still working out what may be possible on that front this weekend. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we are speed on through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set my heart at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart. More than when their corn and wine and oil increase, in peace I will lie down and sleep, for it is you, Lord, only, who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High, and abides under the shadow of the Almighty, shall say to the Lord, 
my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. For he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his wings, and, and you shall be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the sickness that destroys at noonday. Though a thousand fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, yet it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, and the Most High your stronghold. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your tent. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because they have set their love upon me, therefore will I deliver them. I will lift them up, because they know my name. They will call upon me, and I will answer them. I am with them in trouble, I will deliver them, and bring them to honour. With long life will I satisfy them, and show them my salvation. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and, and shall be for ever. Amen. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary, and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. So we pray tonight for God's world, for the nations of the world, and we pray for our own nation as we continue the troublesome journey through this pandemic. For our Queen, for our Prime Minister, for all who serve in government, our civil service and those who advise the engines of government and especially for scientist and medic
we pray for our public services and especially our National Health Service. We pray for those who have returned to work today or are beginning to contemplate a return to physical work beyond their homes. And we remember those who are fearful, anxious or unsure. We pray for our homes. We pray for the presence of Christ in them. The assurance of his risen body. And his Holy Spirit. And we remember especially those who live alone. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray for our hospitals, and especially for our nursing homes, and we pray for those of this parish, for Troutbeck, Straven House and Abbeydale, for Abbey Field and Glen Rosa, for their staff and for their residents. We are asked to name before God also Trevor Allen, Jeff Brammel, Mervyn Button, Greg Garrett, Lauren Green, May Hughes, Father Garth Kellett, Peter Kachartschuk, Jesse Langanega, Val Roberts, and Michelle Still. We pray for those caring for baby Thomas in hospital. And we remember Bethany and Jack and their family. And amongst the departed, we pray particularly for those whose years mind of death falls at this time and amongst the re recently departed we pray by name for Andrew Boothroyd, Edith Cup, Edna Neesham and Huita Smith. Keep watch dear Lord with those who wake or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed. All for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Visit our homes and this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen in peace we will lie down and sleep for you alone lord make us dwell in safety abide with us lord jesus for the night is at hand and the day is now past as the night watch looks for the morning so do we look for you o christ the lord bless us and watch over us the lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us the lord look kindly on us and give us peace amen, amen.